yeah as you can see my man thing got bigger this week and i have to say i'm pretty excited about it you see man thing went from a four five to a four seven and i actually always thought this card was being slept on a little bit there's so many of those like little tempo -y decks and now zoo decks and stuff that man thing often felt like kind of an effective four nine four eleven even if you high rolled like crazy a four thirteen and could like lock down a location almost all on his own just really frustrating those smaller decks uh, which is even better now that he's starting it at 4.7, you know, getting this to an effective net output of like 4.11 is now uh, pretty trivial with all of the small cards out there. And I wanted to try Man Thing actually in an ongoing deck that leans into that affliction side of things a little bit. We're not going all in with like hazmats or even our own typhoid Mary or those sorts of things, but we do also have the US agent in here giving us a counter to both small things with Man Thing and big things with a US agent, and we also have an Ajax, which if you say don't hit a loot cage to protect your own things, then you can use some of these own debuffs to sort of help a little bit on your Ajax, you know, okay, like I caught him, I caught a Howard in my man thing, oh no, well Ajax helps recover a little bit of that loss and kind of shift some of that power elsewhere as needed, but also of course, if you're afflicting your opponent's stuff, Ajax in here can just be like 511, 512 or something, depending on how much you hit. And since he's also an ongoing card, fits really naturally with the ongoing synergies of stuff like Spectrum and Captain America. So even if you don't hit good afflictions, of course, this deck can just be that Spectrum sort of list pushing into your Iron Mans and your Mystiques. And Captain America actually felt really good in this list. I haven't played him that much since he got changed a long time ago, but uh, he felt really high output. So between the two kind of messing with your opponent and scaling up on your own ongoing plays, this deck actually felt pretty great i had a quick seven and three run when i sat down to record games of this which really surprised me i'm excited to play it more and see if that win rate can can persist and i'm kind of excited if you guys have similar results i know probably not everybody has ajax a card a lot of people skipped so we may not get that much data on this one but uh i, I think it did at least show some promise miss marvel was a little iffy in here but still had a few moments where she stood out and I was just trying to fill the curve on this one. But ultimately, uh, I like ongoing decks. These feel kind of old school, but with some new additions and man thing did indeed feel pretty swingy in at least a handful of instances. So since you get the kind of double dip on Ajax, man thing, agent, and all this ongoing stuff, I, I thought this showed some promise. So hopefully you'll enjoy seeing my uh, much bigger man thing in action. Oh. Early game whiffs. Oh, Olympia saved. Thank you. Still no two drop though. Uh, yeah, let's start stacking a spot left. This deck is um from a curve standpoint. There's not a lot of ongoing decks going around. Particularly going around. <laughs> I'm a genius. Particularly you know like affliction ongoing decks. So I literally just said, what what's my curve gonna be? I know. Two of every cost. I guess we got three threes plus a spectrum. I almost had an onslaught in here though too, so it's kind of funny. I could have had two sixes. Yikes, not a hand, man. Captain America left, Miss Marvel mid, and then that's probably all we play mid, right? Maybe maybe we spike a man thing because it's pretty nuts against raptors. Do we want to contest mid or give up mid and just push left? I mean, if we go man thing mid, that's going to make their life super awkward. And then we can just really push left with like a Captain America stack, you know? In other words, Iron Man into Spectrum or whatever, and then just trust the man thing mid. But its deck looks pretty zoo-esque. Um, Ant-Man and Kitty Pride, some small, tiny baby cards. So maybe man thing just Avengers! carries mid. There's always Gilgamesh to worry about, I guess. But oh, Hope's a little bigger, but still looks tempo-y or whatever. Also the possibility of like Ajax Howard on six. Uh, or Iron Man into Mystique combos of some kind, you know, play a Luke Cage behind it or whatever. Marvel Boy, okay. Definitely, uh, Zooey package. Wasn't Thanos, was it? No. Ravona right now doesn't really create any opportunity. I, I think it's definitely Iron Man for now. They're committed pretty hard left. And then I, I, I'm, I'm really eyeing uh, Ajax Howard right now. I don't know if Howard's gonna be enough left though. It's they're pretty big. I mean Iron Man's insane though with Captain America and Ant. I am. We're gonna have a Iron Man. Power. Is is Ajax overkill? I guess is one question though. 
Uh, Necrotia also makes Ajax insane, right? Like, if I just... Did they, they don't have a loot cage, right? There's no way. Oh, they don't have... They don't... No way they have loot cage. <laughs> Famous last words, right? So, um, Howard here is four. Ant-Man gains another plus four. Uh, we're at six, eight, but that's actually 12, 16, which is 32. That feels, to me, that feels pretty insurmountable. And then maybe Ajax just splashes right here because he's pretty big. We got four, five, six, seven already. You could put him mid, but I think he has a chance to just flip right and still demand they, they react to man thing mid, which might be hard for them. I don't know. Let's let's find out. Let's see if they have a loot cage. Let's see if they have an enchantress. A few weaknesses could be exposed here. Hazar is not a huge problem necessarily. Acid arrow, uh, that's not enough there. Grapple arrow is not remotely enough. Kitty pride is totally fine. I think they were maybe trying to win right, which they got close to give them a, to give them some, some credit. But Ajax just carried. Yeah, like I said, he would have also been fine mid. It turns out, you know, that would have been cool too. But. Uh, if you can spread sometimes, I think it's worth it. Mid was hard for them because man things just really disruptive. All these little cards would have sucked. They kind of had to play big stuff. All right, Ant-Man and Cap. This is like classic. Uh, oh, we want, we want Howard first, of course. Ant-Man's good anytime. So New York is interesting because we could definitely discourage their plays a little bit depending on, you know, how we like, you know, man thing, US agent, whatever there. Could definitely create some opportunity for that. Uh, yeah, this is fine too. Let's just curve out the Ravona. Admittedly, pretty pretty weak without uh, <laughs> without Iron Man or Mystique in hand. It was one of those things where I was really debating on two drops. Like I had an Invisible Woman in here for a while. I thought about a, a Colossus. I think I mentioned that in my last video. I saw Colossus. That seemed kind of intriguing. But ultimately, Ravona is like more or less the same size as those, you know, a little bit smaller technically, but she does offer some upside like Iron Man on four can be a big deal. And then, of course, Iron Man Mystique on six is a combo can be really spicy. So I decided to opt for the Ravona, sacrificing a little bit of power for a little upside. It's admittedly not much, only two cards in the deck, but, you know, in theory, that does create some better breakpoints. Uh, yeah. You know, even something like, Iron you know, on turn six, a man thing into a Mystique becomes possible. Is that good? Nah, probably not, but uh, it's intriguing anyway. Uh, Ajax sadly deleted, but we don't mind too much. So Miss Marvel mids, probably the right choice. We know at the very least, you know, Captain America Ant-Man's fine. Uh, Bucky Barnes and Gladiator, by the way. This is interesting. Destroy with Gladiator. So maybe just, I've done that before, like using Gladiator to activate your gnolls Avengers! and stuff. Make gnoll better, make death cheaper. It's, it's not commonly seen, but I definitely don't hate it. The only problem with Ms. Marvel here is, right, it doesn't really utilize the Iron Man that well, but we don't have to keep Iron Man here. We can pivot out. Move Iron Man left or whatever. New York. They're filling up New York so early that we're getting some great opportunity. And Man Thing is going to be pretty good left, it looks like. Uh, Howard deleted. No, I only saw... Oh, man. Yeah, it's okay, but... Yeah, Man Thing, Ant-Man's chill. Agent is hard. Like, we don't have a Luke Cage right now anyway. I mean, it's actually a 50-50 to hit it. Of course, if we hit Luke Cage, we'll play Agent. If we hit Spectrum, we'll play Spectrum, so it's kind of fine, but... Uh, Man Thing for now feels like overkill mid, sure, but uh, I think our goal is going to be to kind of move things around here with New York a little bit. Spectrum, okay. So, I mean, like, I'm thinking about this, right? This is, this is kind of an intriguing line. Uh, cause you know, you, you, you've got what eight here plus five is 13 is really 26. That meets like beats like a death moving. They might also move a gladiator to get away from this man thing though. That would be like 20, that'd be 31. We, we could do something like this. Just fully commit to this. Like maybe they're scared of mid a little bit. Feels strange to just abandon Kun Loon, like just not demand anything out of it. But this is like also weak mid. But it's like kind of surprisingly big mid because the spectrum adds a little bit of unpredictability. And it's still, you know, 
they don't have anything here so it just depends on uh, it's just new york makes this so complicated i'm gonna just dump new york and hope they really commit to it i think and hope they abandon mid a little bit um yeah nice this is exactly what we hope no right almost certainly and then uh we just like power spiked hard left yeah assemble this was a gamble but it kind of made sense they just they, they want to avoid that man thing they want to avoid problems mid so and they kind of think maybe iron man stays so Honestly, the Null at 12 is sort of tiny. Wow, I I mean, yeah, I don't I don't hate it. We, we've got early minions. I think usually when you have early minions, it's it's fine to push for Gamma Lab, right? Uh, Ajax, man thing. Okay, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think we throw the Captain America in too, right? He is quite good elsewhere, but I just want to make sure I'm ahead on the Hulks. Angela Dex can certainly have shang chi but they are <laughs> gonna have to hurry on it agent so it's like man thing next turn i mean man thing's insane in a tva game right like usually oh the juggernaut to match okay i mean this doesn't make me too mad because we're still tied here and then like captain america is really good theoretically for anything we dump on i'm just like do we just play the Hulks are gonna move here anything you play with that I mean this is like a crazy amount of power but I don't think it matters I think it's just playing for tiebreaker here oh how does this work whoa does this turn off TVA first it does insane actually insane I love it that's cool not remotely angry about that now the problem is we're behind here but they can still move their nocturne remember it didn't it didn't move because of um i mean yeah ajax is pretty solid here 511 spectrum can technically win this if they don't move it but do they move it and play something else like i i, I wouldn't probably i'd just be like no this is chill because you don't really expect the Nocturne to be that useful anywhere else. So I, I would I would probably personally uh I would I would keep the Nocturne there, which means if it's Spectrum, I'm probably in a great spot. Mystique on an Ajax, or do I loot cage to gain a bigger advantage mid? I have priority. I mean this this is interesting. Double loot K. I mean, I, I guess an Ajax is still pretty solid. It's, well, it's only two power for Mystique. No, that sucks. That's no good. Man thing here, too, is kind of insane if we trust, like, Ant-Man. Problem is, I don't really trust Ant-Man because I'm losing so hard right. It's like five power here. We're only up three. That's an eight-point lead. That's a really, really tiny lead. And I have to win both of these. Thing. Like, it's really hard to win both. I mean, maybe this has to be enough because I mean, Ajax is getting smaller, but Man Thing's huge. I I think this has to be enough. Unfortunately, it's just not going to be enough mid. It doesn't. Oh, whoa! They played a second card right. What, Jeff over there, bro? What? Vision. Oh my god, dude! It's totally fine. Vision's only four. I can't believe they played Vision mid. Victory. They forget about Agent. I don't know, dude. We have the, this is a crazy pair. The 514 and Thing's a 411, I guess, here. It's pretty not well. He's kind of buffing the Ajax, so. Maybe they were worried about Spectrum, right? I did show a lot of ongoing cards. Maybe they were worried about uh, like a Hazmat, too. You know, maybe they're thinking of Hazmat's in here. Sort of, the sort of things make them nervous, I guess. Okay, yeah, Howard Early is fantastic. I love it. Let's go. Pretty decent opener here. We could really stack left a lot. Man thing incoming. So we do want to put the small stuff all together probably to avoid that man thing. Ooh, but we love Raft as well. Ravona, a little clunky. Turn three, like turn four. There's only agent that could go with Ravona. I mean, I'm still going to push Raft because I think it's valuable, but oh God. That's scary. I guess Acid Arrow could help me though, theoretically. That's what they got. Oh my god. Everybody wants to play everything everywhere. We got Spectrum, so. Turn four is still looking like Man Thing, unfortunately. I mean, yeah, we're not gonna win the raft, but now I've committed the Ant-Man, so I, I guess I gotta stick to I gotta stick to it. If only Howard were here, man. 
We'd have some lines. Dude, I, I feel like Man Thing here is actually insane, though. Because this is small, this is small. They're going to want to play another small card. Now Acid Arrow hurts us, of course, but now we have Man Thing into Luke Cage Ravona is pretty good. Do we play for Volt at all, or do we just give it up, I wonder? That's an interesting question. Grapple Arrow on the Marvel Boy. Okay. Let's help them dodge a little bit, maybe, mid. Uh, I think I give up right, man. I don't know, dude. It looks hard. I think I just kind of want to play, like, Spectrum wherever it feels like I need to. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, Iron Man's also a possibility, but I don't think that's going to be better. Yeah, I, I think this is right. This gives me a pretty big advantage mid, thanks to Luke Cage. Leader. They're going to get a Luke Cage? No way, dude. Wow. That's actually so insane, dude. I can't even believe that, dude. Uh, I mean, I guess we lose, right? Gilgamesh plus something. Maybe they don't account for Spectrum left. Feels unlikely, though. Squirrel Girl Gilgamesh would be the dream line here, probably. I would move Nightcrawler left and play Squirrel and Gilgamesh mid, I think. Shauna? That's still gonna be enough left, unfortunately. I'm only adding six, which is 13. Bro, that freaking... Dude, oh god, that's also insanely big. That freaking leader. I just can't believe it, man. How hard would we be winning this game without leader? I mean, I guess... Well, we could have put Spectrum left, right? So that would have made a big difference. Would we still have been fine? I don't know. We're pretty big. Ant-Man needed support, so I don't know, man. I just... I don't know if we really had it or not, but that's so tilting. <laughs> to get, like, to get a 3-drop off your leader, normally you'd be so mad. And here it's like the perfect card. Love this curve. Shuri's Lab. Yeah, I mean, I definitely have some bigger cards, you know, man things, pretty big, but not that many big ones. You can kind of try to power spike that with Iron Man a little bit. I'm just wondering how to best beat this, because, like, Man-Thing and, and Agent and stuff aren't great in Shuri's Lab. They don't really counter the scaling that well. Maybe we do just play our small cards here and, uh, I don't know, trust in Iron Man to kind of accelerate that a little bit. Oh, oh. I feel like I saw what this was. It looked like it flashed up for a second. It looked like green, green field type things going on. Um, I have no way to get to this now, right? We don't have any accessibility there, so we're kind of, uh, we're kind of cooked, man. I don't know. I'm going to play Ravona here because I need bigger things here. Ajax is at least kind of big. Morbius. Is this going to be green and field like? It's Muir Island, but it flashed Shuri's eyes. Uh, something weird going on, dude. Okay, so... Iron Man and Mystique together left is really interesting. It's also kind of interesting right because of the Mirror Island scaling. Since Shuri's Lab, you would be losing sort of both Iron Man and Mystique in that case. In other words, they don't double off Shuri's Lab. Maybe we're better off to go Iron Man, Mystique right. And then try to stack some taller stats left. Discard deck does potentially have like a giant apocalypse to play here. I mean, I'm going to have, like, Ajax is 14 and 4 is 18, is 36, is 72 left. If they get an Apocalypse up to, like, 24 and double it, that's, like, 48 left. <sighs> I think there is still some argument to Iron Man left. Um, but, I don't know. I think since Ajax is in hand, we're going to have to do this plan. Iron Man. Hopefully it's not a bad... Okay, so Dracula there, we don't mind at all. That doesn't scale at all there. I would put the Dracula anywhere else, personally, I think. This kind of needs to be a Mystique, which means Agent can go here. He hurts Ajax, but he's worth plus three, and he's only negative four. But I might, what am I getting off the top? Captain America? Is that better? If I don't play the Mystique now, of course, I lose the Mystique. So I think I want to play it now. Uh, I mean, it's literally just Ajax, right? But this does hurt their cards, too. So I think it's still a net gain, right? Like, he gains six, which is, you know, 
Ajax is only losing four oh, yeah. and then also hurting Iron their Man. stuff too, potentially. So. Just for the sake of... Uh... Oh, I forgot I have Luke Cage anyway. You absolute oh, goon. Hey, oh, I, uh... Arnim Zola. I think that's still fine. I just don't think they ever beat this Iron Man Mystique scaling, right? It's crazy. You absolute goon, you have, you have Luke Cage. Why am I talking about US Agent having negative effects at all? I forgot we played Luke early. I mean, yeah, I think there's still potentially some spicy ways for them to steal left, like, but I think they just want a MODOK. A MODOK's only 16, and they're, well, it's even less than that because the agent, right? It's, agent here is insane. So they went mid, but that, that also explains the Dracula, by the way. Like, now we understand the Dracula left. I haven't seen an Arnim Zola Dracula list in a while, by the way. Uh, Ravona kind of explains now, like, why Ravona's in there. Not commonly a card you see much in, in discard. So it's no longer a tiebreaker. We actually have to win this, uh, but I don't see how they, they don't, they don't beat right. There's just no way. They're not, they're oh, literally I'm zero power boy. left and Apoc's gonna be like, uh, what, 60, 20 right, I think. Which is just not nearly enough when you count the Iron Man. So yeah. Oh, apocalypse. Yeah, this line worked. I like it. Victory. Uh, Ajax actually got a little bonus, by the way. Plus two, not bad. Not great, but not bad. Squirrels. All right, that's some good fodder. We had a man thing. Uh, potentially good for Miss Marvel, but does make Ant-Man and Howard a bit of a risk. I actually don't think that Miss Marvel is very good here. I, I was just, I just played against somebody running a Typhoid Mary, and I wonder if I would cut the Miss Marvel for a Typhoid Mary. Just a bigger card with low risk in this deck because of all the, um, you know, the Luke Cage or the Ajax potential buff. I don't know. An intriguing question. Oh boy. Another Atalan. I've ran into a ton of Atalan today. Uh, Captain America's fine. He's a pretty big power spike in this deck. Avengers! Assemble. Ingrid's bad if I redraw uh, Miss Marvel. Iron Man would be okay though. Iron Man, let's go. I got both. There you go. Uh, I mean, Mystique Iron Man's pretty nuts. She did get debuffed by Cassandra, so she's a little worse. I would still have to put something fairly large there to make it worth it, because we'd still be at zero or hit a Spectrum, of course. I guess Miss Marvel would be active as well, though. So maybe next turn's like Mystique Agent I am left, Iron I guess. Man. Or that's even better. Uh, we're gonna play, I think, Miss Marvel mid with Agent Right. That's one, three, one, two, three, five. That's fine. Uh, that's not bad, actually. This is a pretty good curve. It's not foolproof. Oh, it's especially not foolproof. That's kind of rude. It's gonna make it hard to win, isn't it? Uh, uh, Maybe it's this now. Is that what I said before though? I think that's what I said anyway. Yeah, no, this is not, this is actually still not crazy because Eliath is only six. I'm actually getting, you know, eight, nine power doubled is 18. They're at 11, but if they play something big, agent counters it. Plus I'm still contesting left and mid as well. So it's like, I'm not even all in right. I kind of have, um, oh, that's very big, but we're going to beat 17. It's all chill, dude. Agent Luke Cage is insane. The Miss Marvel clutching it. Let's go. Very nice. Yeah. The Luke Cage kind of covering Victory. left, forcing some action here does does help you a lot. And Agent's just a great counter. Seven power. Well, more than that because Iron Man's, I guess. Yeah, even with the early Eliath, still chill. Okay, good win. Ooh, good curve. Good curve. Bad location. I mean, you know, Ajax can spike that, I guess. That's fine. Uh, no Luke Cage right now, so we might want to think a lot about Man-Thing positioning, like stack up the small stuff to avoid any Man-Thing risk. Oh, Strange Academy, uh, kind of had some complications, to be honest. We'll see. Looks over Domino, so it looks like some kind of Wiccan list. Uh, I've seen like a Wiccan on reveal kind of floating around a little bit. So Miss Marvel here on four... It's not ideal because you risk the strange academy so much you kind of want to play around six almost if you can but at the same time like that that sort of sucks currently there's Avengers. no repeat costs in place so you can't hit repeats but it's still just like well 
Iron Man on four gives me like a mystique line next turn. I don't know. We're just never weaving in Howard, so I don't know what we're drawing, but a lot of things would be playable. Well, two out of five things would be playable next turn. Agent and Luke Cage. Yeah, this might be all right. I, I don't hate the notion of playing Iron Man here just so that I know I have something here, but it, it, but it might be hard to follow up on in some ways. Werewolf by Night in here. Oh my goodness, that's cool. I guess I'm going to play Iron Man left. Not that I think it really makes any difference. With Strange Academy, it's hard to know what's going to happen. I am Iron Man. But let's have something down there. Dude, what a curve. This might be... I've seen some Wiccan Bounce stuff. It's probably like a Wiccan Bounce list. Uh, okay, Luke Cage does give me a second Iron Man line here. <laughs> Do we just toss the Mystique into the air? and see what happens this gives us a pretty good I mean, like a decent miss marvel opportunity that said three threes in play so actually somewhere would be getting two threes no matter what so miss marvel wouldn't be particularly great there maybe we need like ajax or something off the top although he's also just i don't have a single affliction card so no maybe we just need spectrum huh i i mean i think this is the right way to do it i played those in the right order didn't i I think this is probably the right way to go, but uh, definitely a little nervous because just like, how on earth is this Strange Academy roll? Oh, Red Guardian on Captain America. That's actually a huge turnoff. Yeah, that's a big deal. That's a ton of power. I am Iron Man. Pretty nasty. They could be like kind of clogging themselves up here a little bit too. We don't know. Okay, honestly, not a bad pull left. Pretty good power for. Um, for Iron Man there like it's it's not inherently game winning but it's enough to be annoying right and is this enough to be annoying yeah it's quite a bit of power extra uh does it beat 18 in case they don't move a werewolf because we could just say give up man really right we know they don't have a ton of flexibility here they can only add one more card and then we think we're totally safe left because we're adding six which is really 12 yeah I think we just give up mid like why introduce any risk here Cersei into yeah, fastos is absolutely not gonna be a problem. Yeah. Oh well, um oh shoot, werewolf's back. Oh god, is it gonna be a problem? No, we're fine. We got Iron Man, we're totally chill. It's a billion power. It's a billion. <laughs> it's just a billion. So it's funny, the Luke Cage here we didn't hit any three of the affliction cards in the deck. But Luke still mattered thanks to uh the Red Guardian. I mean it costs a ton of power. It's really like twelve power here he deleted because this would have plus six, which is really plus 12, but not a, not a bad roll. All right, rocks, scary. I'm the best hand to kind of get around rocks. Quantum Realm is okay for rocks. It's also pretty good for like Captain America. He can just, you know, he loses one, but he starts buffing everybody else a ton, which can help your scaling a little bit. Squirrel Girl and Kitty Pride, so definitely looking at some, um, some zooey stuff. Captain America Mystique is actually kind of insane. Blackstone getting pushed when we have a lot of rock potential is probably not great. I do love Man Thing though as like a surprise later. That's pretty cool. We need to decide where that wants to go. Probably right. There's no reason to give them Blackstone if we don't have to, if it's really good right. Oh, Loki, they might get a Luke Cage here. So that means Man Thing's a little bit less reliable of a play. Might still connect. He's still a 4-7, which, you know, that's great for the buff. That's why we like the buff so much. Uh, I don't have a Luke Cage, so I gotta have to decide where to put the man thing. Maybe he still goes right for now. We have, like, Captain Marvel plus Rock. Rock kind of wants to go mid, too, but Captain Marvel's so good mid that I think it's better. I guess, actually, do we like, do we like Mystique on the Marvel instead? Because... We should, like next turn is Mystique plus Rock plus Agent. And then you hope to find a Rock or something to support the other location. I mean, maybe we do. The, the, the Miss Marvel's potentially so much power here. Yeah, there's the Luke Cage. So we're definitely thinking a lot less about, um, thinking a lot less about any affliction outs here. There's the Rock we talked about. So that kind of does help. Right feels 
sort of impossible to win, unfortunately. I think we need to go left. This man thing is like really bad right now, though. <laughs> it's so bad. If I draw like Spectrum, I might be screwed. They also got their own Miss Marvel, which they can activate if they move this Nightcrawler. Might be hard for them, but I, I, probably not. Uh, okay, so we're at 14 here, but Kitty Pride is scary. Um, Howard. This man, th this Howard gets debuffed, but I still technically have 17 here. Or no, I guess that's not really enough, though. Is this really my my life right now? I can't even play Howard left. It, it, it. Like surely they can win mid, right? I think literally even the uh how do I not have anything good, dude? An Iron Man would have been so insane. Uh I think the kitty ties mid, right? So then I'm in a, like a tiebreaker. That sucks. There's no way I win this. Does does the US agent somehow cause problems? No, because they have loot caves. They don't care about US Agent. They just they just play. This is once again an example of a Loki deck play, <laughs> playing my deck better than me. So frustrating, dude. I I got so many rocks too. And I haven't seen them play a single rock yet. Uh I'm just hoping this is a tiebreaker play, right? Like it's not great, but it's oh my god, dude. How do they have the mockingbird in hand the whole time? Unbelievable, dude. This is so frustrating. Okay, we get Howard the Duck. We're happy. That's all, that's all I really need to be happy. Um, I'm, I, this is my first game of this deck. I, I think there will probably be some logic to like playing small cards to the right more generally. Like we're gonna stick to Howard left for now. That's that's fine, I think. But uh, my logic for that is uh, fairly simple. Let's actually put Ravona mid because I, I might want to put Agent left. That's kind of a safe spot. I don't want two two drops for Miss Marvel, so maybe Agent Left kind of prevents that from getting power spiked later. It does prevent us from like Iron Man spiking it, but that's okay. Oh my God. Uh, okay, well, Luke Cage kind of trivializes everything here. Miss um, Marvel probably gets turned off, but Man Thing and US Agent are both just insane now. So when you hit the Luke Cage, your options definitely increase in fold. Now this can of course make the Ajax a little smaller naturally. Um, so Sauron does kind of indicate man things not gonna be that relevant because he you know This is mostly big cards that hit but agents nuts Ajax drawn Ajax won't really keep up very well We got two turns so I could play like Ajax spike with a US agent later Double spectrum would also be kind of cool. We'll know if we're gonna hit the spectrum on six thanks to Howard, so that'll give us some data. This is presumably Shuri, hopefully not, but probably. Oh, Enchantress. Interesting, does she hit the loot cage again? She does not. Okay, that's the good news. So Agent's still really safe for us. Um, oh, we can't play Ajax anyway. Dream Dimension, per kind of perfect, honestly. Oh, Iron Man's pretty great since the loot cage survives. Yeah, um, this is this is good news. No Shuri is great number one. Enchantress is weak to agent is great news. Lizard is chill. Ebony Maw is chill. Those are pretty small left thanks to Man Thing. And then, I mean, you 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 hope that Iron Man here is good enough, but Iron Man mid does suck. He, he's not great mid. So, I mean, there's a risk if they just play like, you know, a, a red skull here and it lands here, we just probably lose, right? Ajax is only better in the sense that he can flip mid. They have, th I guess, I guess red skull is actually s too small though, isn't he? Red skull's only 11, so maybe it's not that bad. Red Skull here, though, is still too much. 11 here is too much. That's 19. So I kind of need the Ajax to win mid in case Red Skull goes left. Or, you know, it doesn't have to be Red Skull, but whatever big thing, maybe. 
Okay, Red Skull did not go left. So yeah, this is this is kind of this is kind of. Oh, he did go left. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm a genius. Actual genius. I don't think I have game audio. I just I just noticed my first game, but I am a genius.